This screencast provides a detailed overview of simulation conversions and presentation of results in the Aspen Plus software. This video will utilize a flow sheet developed in the Data Input and Running a Simulation screencast. Once the simulation is run, Aspen will tell you whether or not it was able to converge in the solution. Some common reasons for a simulation not converging include choosing an invalid property method, complex recycle structure, thermodynamic violations such as temperature crossover and a heat exchanger, and incorrectly entered unit operation information, such as the number of stages or reflux ratio in a distillation column. Aspen will alert you of any problems associated with the solution by reporting warnings and errors at the bottom of the control panel screen. It is always a good idea to do a quick double check on your results. On the menu bar at the top of the screen, click on the Stream Summary button. Various process variables, including temperature, pressure, flow rate, and vapor fraction, are displayed for each stream. You should double check that all values make physical sense and that the material balance is correct. You can add the stream table to your flow sheet by clicking on the Send to Flow Sheet button at the top of your screen. You can also reposition the stream table by clicking and dragging. The flow sheet can then be printed and submitted in a report. Another useful appendix to any report is the input summary. Go to the Home tab at the top of the screen and click the Input button on the top of the menu bar to open the input summary in the notepad. This report details all of the process information entered by the user, such as inlet stream conditions and unit operation parameters. A third appendix to add to a report is an individualized block report. Click the Report button on the top menu bar. You can then select the specific simulation block you want to report for and click OK. The generated report will open a notepad detailing a mass and energy balance and stream conditions for the inlet and outlet streams. Watch the following video in the YouTube playlist to learn how to input data and run a simulation. For more Aspen tutorials, visit the Cornell Chemie YouTube channel.